what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Akon fixed his mouth to say that black people need to just let slavery go. Family, this is the type of ignorance that so many people who are not foundational black Americans spew. And sometimes black Americans spew because they've been brainwashed to believe that their ancestors don't deserve to be compensated for the atrocities of slavery. Yes, compensating the descendants of slavery is a debt paid, owed to the ancestors. Akon was born in St. Louis, Missouri. He, from what I understand, went back to the core uh, synagogue when he was seven years old and spent some time there. So he is a first generational black American. His daddy and his mama are Africans. His ties are in Africa. His whole family for the most part is in Africa. His roots are deeper in Africa than they are in America. He's from a region of the world where his people wasn't subjugated for centuries. So when he starts talking about slavery, he don't know what the hell he's talking about. When we talk about slavery in America, he said that in Senegal, they pretty much have forgotten about slavery. They moved on and they want us to move on. But let me tell you something, homie. We have moved on. But we would never forget. We would never forget the atrocities of slavery. We would never forget what they did to our ancestors. They love to talk about moving on. It's remember the Alamo. Remember 911. Remember the Holocaust. Remember the American Civil War. Remember World War II. Remember World War I. Remember Pearl Harbor. Remember every damn thing. But man, when it comes to slavery, forget about it. Why is that? See, the truth got to be told. The reason why Akon and some Africans want to forget about slavery and has moved on is because there were Africans who had a hand in slavery. Yeah, there were Africans who sold Africans into slavery in the U.S., in Europe, and other parts of the world. So they want to forget about it, just as many white people in America want to forget about it, because they know if they talk about it, then people are going to be critical of them. And somebody might just get the bright idea to say, you know what, you're responsible. Your people were responsible. And well, you know, I wasn't, I never had any slaves. I never owned any slaves. You know, you wasn't even born. Yeah, you didn't own any slaves, but it was a slavery that put you in a position to have what you have, have this privilege that you have, to, it was this slavery that built these institutions in America. Every major institution in America profited from slavery. And so it was slavery and it was the remnants of slavery that built this oppressive system that we call white supremacy to benefit one group and 
to subjugate another. So whether you own slaves or not, uh, if you are white and you living in America, uh, you benefit from white privilege. White privilege is a direct uh, result of white supremacy. We're going to build these institutions. We're going to put all of our people at the head of these institutions. And we're going to allow access to people who look like us and deny access to people who look like them. This dude talks about black people moving to Africa. Like it's some type of trip to the grocery store or something. The average American is not well traveled. But you want black people to just get up and move to an entire different continent and set up shop where English is not even the primary language. So the average person don't even have enough money. The average American don't even have enough money to move to the next town without job security. But you want black people to go all the way to another continent and search for prosperity. Seek the dream. I get you. It's not as simplistic as he makes it sound. He also said that black people in America blame everything on the past. The past signifies something gone by in time and no longer existing. The same system that instituted and preserved slavery is the same system that exists today. This is why slavery is at the top of the discussion daily. If these bastards wasn't beating our heads in, killing us, getting away with murder, marginalizing, discriminating, hating, well, hell, we could continue to move forward as we have without talking about it every day. But forget about it? I bet you he wouldn't dare fix his mouth to tell the Jews to forget about the Holocaust. I bet you he wouldn't dare fix his mouth to tell white folks to forget 9-11. He know what come with that. This reminds me of a saying that all of us are all too familiar with. All skin folk ain't kin folk. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?